guys. It is Sunday. It's been a pretty chill morning. I had some breakfast. I made some scrambled pesto eggs with potatoes. And today's gonna be more of just like a cleanup, spring cleaning type of thing. It's the first day of spring, so naturally I had to get my shit together. I have my trusty agenda, which has my day planned out as I do. Before we get into that, a couple of things from yesterday. So I went shopping and I actually finally got some new clothes. I haven't gone shopping for clothes in person in ages. Like I don't remember the last time. It was actually really nice to just go in, try things. So I got some things that I wanted to share to kick this off because, you know, new season, new clothes. I also got some Magic Spoon cereal, which I've always wanted to try. I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test, so that'll come after this. Okay, but to start off, I'm gonna share my little clothing haul. I feel like this is so circa 2000. 12 or something. Do people even do hauls anymore? I've been really struggling to like enjoy clothes that I have and I don't think that they really reflect where I'm at with my life because the last time that I really was getting dressed on a regular basis outside of sweat was two years ago, like a lot of people. So I felt like I was really overdue for some new pieces. Capsule pieces, things that are versatile for styling and low effort because that's my style. So I'm gonna start with things I got at Aritzia. I indulged and I just feel like these pieces are really gonna last me for a while. So I got this, a little cardigan. The color is mirror blue. It's just like a nice knit cardigan that's cropped and I don't have anything like this color which I thought was really cute for the spring. This is something I'm super excited to wear. It's cozy but also a nice refreshing spring color. And the next thing I got is this cropped t-shirt which I think this is like a turtleneck if not a mock neck. I don't really know the difference. I'm not a huge fashion person. It's a nice color. It's like a chocolatey brown. Just very versatile. I think it'd look good with like some high-waisted jeans. The next thing I got is pretty simple but it's just this cropped long sleeve. This is from their Sunday Best brand, which I really like. They're always really comfy and it just has buttons which you can button up, but also super cute with like high-waisted jeans or pants. It's also pretty thick, so it's not too sheer, which is nice for like white tops I find. And honestly, just like a basic classic staple. Next, this is more of like a work shirt, I think. It's this striped button up. This is the Babaton brand. I think it looks good buttoned up, but I can also wear it unbuttoned if I wanna put a top underneath it. So that's what I got at Aritzia. And then I was really looking for like some beige cargo pants, kind of casual, but could be dressed up, high-waisted, that type of thing. I was looking everywhere and because I'm pretty short, it's kind of hard to find pants that aren't going to like sweep the floor in that style. So I ended up finding a pair that I think are really cute from Zara. These are the baggy fit paper bag carrot leg ankle rigid pants. I actually like the waist that has the elastic because I find it kind of hard to like get the right fit on my waist. It's not too long and baggy so I think it's more flattering for someone who's a little bit on the shorter side. I am 5'3 so this is the best that I found and I do like the color. I think this will be very easy to mix and match with different outfits. The last couple of things I got are actually from American Eagle. I used to shop there all the time. I haven't been in there in ages, but we just wandered in and I ended up finding a couple cute things. Got this pair of high-waisted jeans. I've had a really good experience with their jeans for the price and this wash in particular I really liked. And then I also found this really cute cardigan, which is like a knit cardigan, but it's also cropped. I don't think I own any cropped cardigans apart from what I just got. So I'm excited because again, I think these are really cute with high-waisted pants and this is just like a cream color. I think this will also be good for the summer because it's a bit more lightweight compared to the other cardigan. Lastly, I went to Sephora. I haven't been in a Sephora in a hot minute either and I didn't really look around. I just knew I had to get a couple things. But I also got my gift for my birthday. As most people know, you can get like a birthday gift if you're a member. And the gift that I got is actually Tatcha. It's just a little sample kit and 
Tasha is not cheap, so I'm happy with any samples. This is the rice wash, which is actually the cleanser that I use. So this will be good if I'm like traveling, I can take a little mini one. The other thing is this dewy skin cream, which I think I actually wanted to try, but I didn't get it just because I have another moisturizer that I'm using. I really like the smell of this line, rice line or whatever it's called. But the last thing is just this liquid silk canvas primer, which I haven't heard of, but maybe I'll try it. I find it really hard to try samples in these little, I don't know, squeezy pouches. <laughs> and then the other things I got are pretty simple, but I needed another hair mask. This is the one that I like the most. It's from the brand Amika and it's their soul food nourishing mask. A little bit on the pricey side to be honest, but I love it. I feel like it's been the best conditioner for my hair. I actually use it almost every wash, so it's not as much of like a deep mask that I use it for. And I feel like it's really nourishing, hydrating. So if you are interested, I I would highly recommend. It also smells amazing, so you honestly can't go wrong. And then the last thing I got is the Benefit Give Me Brow Brow Gel. I haven't tried this before, but the one that I had, I think is online only that I was using. I think I've heard good things about this. This is in number three. I feel like it's pretty standard. Okay, so that's everything that I got. I'm excited to get back into the world and wear proper clothing. <laughs> For the rest of the day, I definitely want to get some spring cleaning done. Some of it is pretty standard Sunday cleaning type of stuff. In my planner, I have laundry, which I'm gonna do right after this, vacuum. I also want to do a little bit of tidying of my clothes, just clean it up a little bit. I have a really bad habit of not putting clothes away properly. I'm gonna get started on that stuff. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm making my way through cleaning, but I just want to talk about these items that I found because I literally bought these, I think, over a year ago. This is from Zara. This is from Fashion Nova. And honestly, this is the perfect example of fast fashion and waste because I have never worn these yet. Like, I do want to and I, I plan to, but they're not things that I would wear on a regular basis. And it's not that it's like expensive or anything, but the fact that I've just had it makes me feel pretty bad because I just went and got a bunch of other stuff. But like, the purpose of this is not for work, it's not for every day. So I really should have just like saved and waited until I actually had a reason to wear something like this. So my strategy is basically to gut all of my drawers, which is what I've been doing. Hence the clothes are there all over the bed. That way I can at least like figure out what's in my drawers and then hopefully get rid of some things. Try to find some sort of system to organize them. I feel like I do this every season and then life happens and I just don't stick to it. All right, I've had a very productive day, put some clothes away, still in the middle of doing that, did some vacuuming, laundry, and yeah, it's been a productive day. I decided I wanted to taste test all of the Magic Spoon flavors, like I mentioned. This is obviously not sponsored, but why not film this? There's different combos you can pick. I did one where you can pick four flavors. The first one is this maple waffle, and then I got cookies and cream, peanut butter one, and then frosted, which is meant to be like frosted flakes. Most people probably know Magic Spoon already, but they're basically popular because of all the flavors and the nutrition in them is really good. Four net carbs per serving for most of them, except for this cookies and cream one. And then they're also really high protein, but I'm gonna be testing them with some oat milk. So first one I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the peanut butter one. Look how cute they are. They're really like fluffy. Oh, and there's a word search in the back. The dry taste test is okay. I'm okay with this, it's okay. I shall try it with oat milk. This is vanilla flavor, so I feel like it's gonna taste better because of that. I feel like if I'm gonna eat this with milk anyways, it's gonna be this oat milk, so all is fair. I am so dedicated to this. 
Okay, this is the peanut butter with oat milk. Mm. It's better with the oat milk. I enjoy snacking on cereal, but I don't think I would snack on this. Out of 10, I would give this a 7. First one down. Next one, these two are newer flavors that I saw on the site. I'm gonna save the frosted for last because I think that's like a classic. This one is called Cookies and Cream. I love this package, I think it's so cute. Oh, and there's like a little maze game on the back. Mmm. This one I would say is actually not bad on its own compared to the peanut butter. Like I could probably snack on this on its own. This is the oat milk taste test. So far, I would say that is better. I would give the cookies and cream an eight and a half out of 10. Next one, maple waffle. Ooh, this smells so good. It's pretty good on its own too. I'll try it with oat milk. I would say this one's my favorite. I think I just said that, but nine, nine out of 10. I will say that this is the sweetest one. So if you're not into very sugary flavors, then it might not be up your alley. The whole purpose of this is that you're not getting all the sugar of a typical cereal, but it tastes really sweet is what I'm trying to say. For that reason, I think this is a nine out of 10, but if you don't like that, then you won't enjoy it. Okay, last one. I've been waiting for this. This is apparently an OG from their original lineup. And this is meant to taste like Frosted Flakes, which is one of my favorite cereals, but Frosted Flakes has zero nutritional value. So this is a good alternative. This one has a riddle on the back or something like that. What is this? Oh, this is like really yellow. I don't know about this smell. This is really interesting. So I don't think the flavor of it is as close to Frosted Flakes as I was expecting, but it's got the same vibe. Because the Frosted Flake is basically a corn flake, they just dunk it into sugar. And this does taste like some sort of corn flake with sugar, except it's not the same flavor as the Frosted Flake, if that makes sense. I would give Frosted an eight out of 10. It was good, it was good, but it was like not amazing. Okay, to summarize, I would recommend them. That is my unbiased review because I decided to taste test all four cereals for some reason. Now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna probably go back and clean the rest of the clothes that I left as a mess in the bedroom. And then eventually gonna take Bean to the pet store, have a little walk around and make some dinner. Basically it. The clothes are gonna take me a while, so I should probably get on that and I will show you guys how it comes along shortly. I am making progress. I just put a bunch of sweaters and wintry clothes in here because I'm definitely not gonna be wearing them for a while and it's just gonna go into my closet hopefully i don't need to use this bag anytime soon because i will have to empty it but it just takes like a lot of space away from my dresser i just have a little bit more to put away but i am making my way there I just wanted to pop in and wrap this up quickly. The day is almost over. It's already about 6.40. It's still light out, which I love. So making the best use out of the lighting, just coming in to say thanks for hanging out. I feel refreshed with my clothes in proper order, which was no small feat and it was definitely overdue. I just have a few more things to put away. I'm gonna put my laundry away, which is done now, but otherwise we'll have some dinner, chill out. Super happy that it's spring. I can't wait for it to get nicer. It was already really nice today. Thank you for coming along and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you next time. What the what? You know when you go for us uh, go for fish and chips? You know fish that has the batter on it. You mean the fish that's part of the fish and chips? Yeah but it has the batter around it. Yeah that's how fish and chips are made. Yeah yeah but this is the fish that's usually inside the batter. Oh okay.